You guys know that we like to try new and different things. Today we're gonna to be trying out a new palette tool. A lot of you guys probably remember this tool. This is our palette buster, and it's just a simple tool for breaking apart palettes. So when you want to pull the boards off a palette, you just use your palette buster to pry them off. And it's a good way It's a good way to salvage wood off of pallets, replace broken boards, etc. We really love this tool. It also comes in handy for prying deck boards off decks, old flooring, different things like that. But we got a new tool today called a pallet puller. This is a pallet puller. So you guys have probably never seen a tool like this before. A pallet puller is used for pulling pallets. So let me show you. Pretend that we're in the back of a rig. We got pallets stacked deep, right? You don't have your pallet jack and you got to get the pallet to the end of the truck. You would just put this on the pallet. Let me show where I have more room to pull. So you would just uh, attach a chain to your forklift, etc., and just pull the pallet. The harder you pull, the tighter the teeth grip. And you guys might be thinking, but why do you need a pallet puller? Okay. So here's the plan. We thought to ourselves, if this could pull a pallet, a one ton pallet, maybe it could also pull a tree. We're gonna hook it to the tractor, clamp it on a tree, and see if it pulls it out. If it works, it's gonna be so much easier than wrapping the chain around it and trying to Snag it up. That's huge. That's a big tree. We bent it on that big one. You can see it's way out of whack. Shouldn't have started off with that huge one at the beginning. Yeah. But, still working. These little ones, you can't really grip to the branch, to the tree too much. Yeah, we just kind of like wrap Put, it around it. Yeah, we'll try that.
third person. up in here. So we're going to keep this one, but we're going to pull out this and that and that. Try this big one. Our puller is bent, but it's still working. So we're gonna keep working it. We ran out of gas, obviously, fueling back up. But actually it's making pretty good progress. It doesn't look like it, because there's a lot of trees out here, but it's going quickly.
Well guys, that's all we have for now. We got a lot of work done. We pulled out a lot of trees out of the field, but just the scrubby trees, the bad trees, the trees that are too close together, we left a lot too. Yeah. Yeah, we mainly just wanted to get rid of the jack pines and the autumn olives and in anything damaged. I honestly wanted to get rid of more trees. Ashley really loves them out there and she wanted to keep a lot. I think we got the right balance. Yeah. Um, we're just stacking them up to dry out by the fire pit. We'll cut them up and burn them at some point. Not a big deal. We still got some cleanup to do out there. Yep, filling in the, the holes from where the trees were ripped out. But you guys wanna know how the pallet puller did. It actually did surprisingly well. I'll tell you what, it looks like it was pointless, but it actually does save a lot of time, except for you can see this thing is trashed. It really got bent to the point where we couldn't use it anymore because it started to just... Like it can't grip it was, anymore. It was, it was gripping the trees, but we couldn't get it off because it was pinching yeah. the tree in an odd direction. Kind of a shame that it got broke, but it's... It might be able to, I might be able to bend it back if I try hard enough. And we should have started with the smaller trees and ended with the larger ones. Sometimes you gotta experiment just to see if something will work so that you can go from there. Um, one of the things that we liked about this was it saved a lot of time of wrapping and unwrapping the chain. We could just put that around the tree and pull it and it worked awesome on the medium sized trees. Yeah. The small trees would slip through, the big trees would bend it. And surprisingly, the teeth didn't come in very handy. It was more this part, just grabbing the tree, the round part, grabbing and pulling yeah. it. Um, this actually didn't cost me much money at all. I got a really good deal on it and got it for very, very little. So not a big deal to try it out. It would be interesting to see what the two ton or three ton version would do. This was only the one ton version. But here's the thing, when you're standing behind the tractor, our tractor, the exhaust points out the back, and you got that unfiltered exhaust blowing in your face. It's bad. There's, you gotta hold your breath when you load up with the chain on the tree. There's no catalytic converter. It's just straight raw fumes, very toxic, very bad for you, blasting in your face. So when you're sitting back there trying to wrap the tree up, get it into tight, and Plus then, the chain is heavy, for me at least. And then when you pull the tree out, the chain is all tight and you gotta try to unwrap it, untangle it. This thing, you can just unlock it, lock it. It's very... It's quicker, yeah. Quicker. That's what we liked about it. Wish it worked better, but it was a good starting point. Now, one of the reasons I was inspired to try that pallet puller is because I was looking at another tool called a tree grubber that I found on Amazon. And it's uh, the same exact concept, made a little bit differently and it's made for pulling out trees. But oddly, in the comments and the reviews, I saw a lot of people having that same problem where it bent. Yeah. So it seems to be a common problem with those scissor type actions is they can bend easy. Uh, the tree grubber was like, I think close to $100. And this, I literally got for like 30 bucks. So it was worth trying that to see how well it would do. And I would say it was probably comparable. Yeah. Without trying the other one, it's hard to know though. So I guess we're going to end it here. We're going to clean up, take care of some things around the property, and we'll be back soon with another video. So until next time, take care. Bye.